Power, stealth, and agility, this beast has it all. It's difficult to comprehend the sheer size of the Typhoon-class submarines, the largest ever constructed. Coming from Russia, it's easy to see why this beast is not only feared, but also revered across the globe. Russia has always been at the top of the list when it comes to major military weapon systems. The Russian Navy's Typhoon-class submarines are unrivaled in terms of design, so stay tuned until the end of the video as we will be discussing the history, weaponry, and all you need to know about the King Submarine. History of the Typhoon-class submarines The Cold War was an era of international tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union that lasted 45 years and was finally brought to an end in 1991 when the Soviet Union was dismantled. The superpowers were embroiled in a frenzied nuclear weaponry race when the war began in 1945. At one time, the United States seemed to have been ahead of the game in terms of its nuclear weapons arsenal, a stash that comprised some very remarkable nuclear weapons, such as the huge Ohio-class submarines. It was created in the 1970s to serve as the counterweight to the United States Navy's spectacular Trident missile program, as well as a means of making Soviet ballistic missile submarines, or SSBNs, more survivable by concealing them behind the Arctic ice cover. As far back as the 1950s, nuclear submarines had been operating beneath the ice, and it was discovered that it was very difficult to monitor enemy submarines using solar or satellite technology in these circumstances. In the open sea, Soviet SSBNs might be pursued by U.S. and British hunter-killer submarines, also known as SSNs, whose mission was to destroy them before any of their missiles could be launched. Although it was possible for them to hide beneath the ice, it was not recommended. However, the very clear challenge of how to fire the missiles through the ice manifested itself when working beneath it. The only way for nuclear submarines to reach the surface was to identify weak areas in the ice, which they did. In order to avoid committing suicide by firing missiles before breaking through the ice, the revolutionary submarine had to be constructed in such a way that it was capable of emerging from the water at a second's notice without the need to first locate a weak spot. As a result, the new submarine would have to be very enormous and powerful. In fact, it would have to be the largest submarine ever constructed. On several occasions, it has been noted that the Ohio-class SSBNs, which are themselves massive and spectacular vessels, are even longer than the Typhoon. This is correct, but it is not a valid means of comparing the relative sizes of these two huge submarines to one another. The Typhoon is just so massive that no submarine can compete with it in terms of size. The Typhoon is much larger in both width and height than the Ohio-class SSBNs. Since they first entered the service in the early 1980s, the boats have been shrouded in secret and mystery. Russia made no secret of the existence and relative significance of this new kind of boat, although, of course, almost every aspect of the vessel was strictly guarded. It was able to captivate the general imagination in a manner that no other sort of storm could throughout the 1980s because of the sense of wonder and mystery that surrounded it. As a result of its status as the world's largest and most powerful submarine, the Typhoon found itself the subject of a Hollywood movie. Towards the end of December 2008, a senior Navy official declared that the two Typhoon-class submarines in reserve, the T-17 Arkhangelsk and the TK-20 service threat, would not be rearmed with the new Bulova surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missile system. Their capability to carry cruise missiles or lay mines might be enhanced, and they could also be deployed to support special operation forces. So. You may be wondering, how big is the Typhoon-class submarine? With a submerged weight of more than 48,000 tons, the Typhoon-class is amongst the most powerful classes of ships. Its dimensions are 175 meters in length, 23 meters in width, and 12 meters in depth. It is powered by two nuclear water reactors, two steam turbines with a combined capacity of 50,000 horsepower, and four turbo generators with a combined capacity of 3,000 kilowatts. To put this in context, the Ohio-class submarine, which is owned by the United States, is the second largest submarine outside of Russia. The United States Navy maintains a fleet of 18 nuclear-powered submarines of the Ohio-class, which are the largest submarines ever constructed for the country. Each of the Ohio-class submarines has a submerged displacement of 18,750 tons and measures 170 meters in length, 13 meters in width, and 10.8 meters in depth. As a result, it is clear that the amount of the share size is not a point of contention, but as much as we have focused on the size of this submarine, it is more important to remember that it also has the power to support its size. 
power. While no submarine is exempt from criticism, the Typhoon-class submarine is recognized as an engineering wonder, even by Western experts who have studied it. Despite its popularity, which was immortalized in Tom Clancy's novel, The Hunt for Red October, there is still a great deal of mystery surrounding it. As previously indicated in the video, the Typhoon-class submarine is powered by two nuclear reactors, two steam turbines with a combined capacity of 50,000 horsepower, and four turbo generators with a combined capacity of 3,200 kilowatts. A speed of 22.22 .22 knots, or 25.57 miles per hour on the surface of the water, and 27 knots, or 31 miles per hour in the water, is achievable with this engine. A total of 20 R-39 solid-fueled intercontinental ballistic missiles were installed aboard the Typhoon class when it was first completed. When we say the R-39 missiles were solid-fueled, we are referring to the fact that the rocket engine utilized solid blocks of propellant rather than liquid propellants. It is possible to fit 100 KT nuclear bombs inside each of these bunkers. These enormous missiles, which were known to NATO as the SSN-20 Sturgeon, were a total of 53 feet in length and over 8 feet in width. As a point of reference, it is much bigger than the number of Trident II missiles carried by similar U.S. Navy and Royal Navy vessels. A big reason behind this was that, because of the size of the missiles, the submarine needed to be the world's most powerful. Six 522mm torpedo tubes, as well as one Type 53 torpedo, are also available aboard the Typhoon class. The missiles for the Typhoons were designed to last around 20 years. Because of the end of the Cold War, Russia opted not to invest the tens of millions of dollars required to replace the engines in the space shuttle. It also decided to discontinue the upgraded R-39M missile. The Dmitry Donskoy, the last of the Typhoon-class ships, is presently equipped with more contemporary RSM-56 Bulova missile, which has taken the place of the R-39M project. This has a range of around 5,000 miles and has the capability of raining down six or more MIRVs. However, it is also unknown if all of her missile tubes have been upgraded to accommodate the new missile. It has the potential to launch up to 20 missiles. However, there have been recurrent reports that just one or two tubes were updated to enable them to be used as a test bed, which would contradict the official story. So, with all the Typhoon-class submarines being decommissioned, you may be wondering what the future holds for this veteran beast. Given the fact that a large number of decommissioned military weapons have been resurrected over the years, we can't be certain. There is a competitive market out there for military equipment, even if this beast claims to be the largest. To be honest, the Russians were wise enough to see that as technology advanced and other nations created more effective naval boats, their cherished Typhoons would not perform so well. The Russian Navy is currently replacing its old Typhoon and Delta-class missile submarines with the Bore class a newer generation of missile submarines. Despite the fact that the Bulova missiles are presumably far more precise than their predecessors, the Bore class submarines are equipped with 16 Bulova missiles with a combined explosive output of 7,200 kilotons. In all, Russia intends to construct eight Borei submarines. Dmitry Donskoy, who is 40, 41 years old, is on the verge of reaching retirement age. Because the Soviets deployed the Typhoon boats before computers and tiny ballistic missiles were available, it is possible that a class of submarines as large as the Typhoons will never be produced again. But we can never say never. So what are your thoughts on this beast? Do you believe the final one will be deactivated anytime soon? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.